I know it's about that game banana thing. I don't know if I mentioned it a lot, but you can um you just close this one to get it, but you can search up like how to do custom menu music and you should be able to find it pretty easily. You might have to do some scrolling. But once you have it downloaded, you're not you're gonna have to download a program called Audacity. It is free, it's completely free. Um it should be somewhere in here. I think it's this last recent. Um, it's pro- Ooh, is it this? Yeah, okay. So you want to download Audacity. Um, I'll, I'll just leave this link down in the description, but you should be able to search Audacity and find it. Now, you want to minimize this. Um, actually, you know what? I 
think we can close this. We're done with uh, YouTube. Now, you're gonna have this file in your downloads. I just gotta, there's a bunch of files on there. Um, here it is, Meet the Polka Final. Uh, once it's downloaded, you should have the audio. Now, you can close them. You don't need to sample. And you wanna open Audacity. Now, once you're in, you might get a pop-up. Uh, you can, like, edit the settings on that, so it doesn't pop up anymore. But you make a new, actually, no, you don't. You make, you hit File, Open. This will bring you to your downloads folder. Most likely by default, but you can find it in Desktop, Downloads. So I'll bring it in. Now, you can basically do whatever. I don't amplify it or anything, but you can, especially for hit sounds. If you're making hit sounds, this is a really useful program for that. You can amplify and amplify it. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I might be able to showcase the song if I get lucky enough. It's a 1 out of 32 chance. Now, once I play, you're not gonna hear any audio because in this particular song, it takes a while to pick up. Now, what you can actually do is find where it starts. Um, just, just, oh, I just deleted the whole thing. Let me just reopen that. Say it has like a startup or something like this that you want to cut out, you can actually go in here and you can like select delete it most likely. I assume. And then hit delete on that, and that should chop it out. You can just do that wherever. I'm gonna do it at the end as well. Just a bit. Hit delete on your keyboard. I feel this almost this. Just wanna bring that over to the end. It was already at the end. I Now, what you want to do is, I'm, you want to tame the project rate, this is very important or else it won't work, to 44, 100. It could be lower, I believe, but I just use 44, 100 because it's the highest rate and it just sounds the best. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, I'm sure that's just it. Now, once I share an export, and you'll notice where it says you don't have one that doesn't work, and the whole thing doesn't work. You want to export this as MP3. Now, you're going to see some options. I already have it selected, but it should be like on something like this. You want to select constant and 192 kilobytes per second. What's your choice, Siri? You want to rename this to whatever startup. In my case, it was game start up 32. You name it whatever. You got to do, anyway, you got to name them game startup 1 and then through 32. So, that's my song done. I can close Audacity. You don't have to take your project, you can if you want. Um, there it is, Game Startup 32. It's an MP3 file. See, it cut out, so now it's not, not waiting forever for it to start. But um, yeah, so you want to take your file, and you can cut it or drag and drop it if you brought it to your desktop. But I just like to leave it in my downloads. So it's just, a lot of people bring it to their desktop, I don't do that personally. But if you have it saved, um, you can also just go back to you should be able to find it um, if you go back into Steam and go do the thing we did earlier in the video to open this folder to start with. You can find it now. I don't have any 32s. I'm gonna hit paste. That should be it done. All right. I'm gonna boot up TF2 and we're gonna see if it works. All right, guys. That's not the exact song, but you'll know it works if you hear any of your songs playing if you have multiple. That's because it, like I said, it relies on all songs being able to work. But you can hear I have the Gorilla Tag Sky City map playing in the background. That was one of the new maps. I am a Make It Real Tag video. Um, I have a lot of things I want to do on the channel, and we get to listen to it for a bit. You know, it's all working. It's all good. And yeah, that's essentially how I do it. Now, you can close CF2, and if you have 1 through 32, it'll cycle randomly. It'll pick a random one. Anyway, that's it. That's the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!